real world evidence is an opportunity to look at how patients encounter and experience care in the real world. Much of what we know about what works in healthcare comes from clinical trials. And these are relatively artificial examinations, sort of laboratory settings where the best is given to patients by the best surgeons in controlled circumstances where patients don't have to pay for the medicines. And there are folks that keep track to make sure that everything is happening correctly. In the real world, things are different. Patients have to go to the pharmacy and get their drugs. They have to pay for them. They may not be seeing the world's expert surgeon. And so this initiative is to understand for the average patient what actually would they experience. Also in clinical trials, you often narrow the trial to folks that have one illness, not folks that have diabetes and hypertension and heart disease. And if I have diabetes and hypertension and heart disease, then I want to know, would that same intervention work for me? So there's a lot of enthusiasm and excitement. Now, this has evolved over time. So we've always looked at real world experience, but typically the data we've had available to us has been claims data, billing information, administrative information, which has only modest amount of clinical richness to it. Over the last number of years though, those type of analyses are now using data that has much greater information. So patient registries and now electronic health records. So there's a lot of excitement that this can then bridge what we know from the optimal clinical trial information to what might be operative for individual patients. With all this optimism though, we need to have some caution for the field to move forward, for real world evidence analyses to be valid and to be accepted by others, we need to come to agreement on what good looks like. There are many standards out there, but they don't all agree with one another. So it's very important as a field that we begin to say, these are the characteristics of a study done well, and these are the elements you need to focus on. And if you are a journal editor or journal reviewer and a study has done it correctly, then you would want to accept it. But if there are limitations, then you perhaps would not. The field is not there yet, and we are hoping that we can all work together to achieve that endpoint.